Someone must have come here before us. who believed in Newton's prophecy and Operation Conquer. That's why she risked her life to erect this ward and protect this place. Now, Trakti, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but we need to activate this antechamber. The last witch arrives, and it's the cunning Mezaluka, no less. A trap! You evil bitch! Defiant to the very end. But if you surrender now, I'll leave this world intact. You know I don't want to destroy this world. Now, come with me, my dear Mezaluka. I'm not falling for your lies! Not now, not ever! And if you think I'm here alone, you stupid doll, think again! Tracti, this thing is an avatar of Velkavrana. Don't be deceived by her words or appearance. Let's go, Tracti! To me, Witch Brigade! Go! Destroy her!
We did it! We actually did it! It took dozens of witches to defeat one Dronia puppet. But you managed to beat this one yourself, Tracti! Operation Conquer isn't hopeless. Neldo. Newton. Everyone. We can do this! What about me? Mazaluka? Have you forgotten... about me? Remember... when we went... to the hill? I'm not gonna let you trick me. I can't believe you would use Madame Dronia's memories to manipulate me. <gasps> this is no time for tears. She may have called me the last witch, but I don't know for certain that the others were defeated. These things always tell lies to try to get in your head. Hmm? Oh, I should explain what's going on. The fully matured Velcarana is way bigger than the one you remember. That's why this enormous labyrinth can fit inside of it. Because it's so big, it created small avatars of itself to kill any humans who invade. Avatars like this thing here. I'm fairly certain that Baba Yaga's will is no longer in these smaller ones. But like Baba, they still desire immortality. They long to become one with Velkarana again. Using Baba and Mom's power, Velkarana manifested a legion of Dronia puppets and sent them inside itself. They may have Madame Dronia's appearance and memories, but no matter how real they appear, they don't have a human soul at all. The only ones who have been fighting back against Velkavrana are me and the other great witches. Zorak, Frankuran, Naja, Harkinrail, Nazca, Labeline, and Forespina. We entered from different areas before we launched our attack. Our goal was to distract Velkavrana as we made our way to its heart. The first of us to reach Velkavrana's heart will seal it. That was our plan. We've launched four attacks so far. With each attack, more great witches have died, and we've gotten no closer to reaching the heart. The chamber containing Velkavrana's heart must be carefully hidden, but it has to be in here somewhere. Velkavrana has already reached full maturity. At a moment's notice, it could take to the sky and devour this world. We don't have much time left. This will probably be our final attack. Our current situation is... hopeless. But that's not important right now. Let's try to activate the antechamber. If this works, we can finally repay Neldo and Newton for their sacrifice. Here it goes. With this soul that has witnessed the worlds beyond, I bind this twisted dimension. I knew it! The antechamber is primed now. It's just like the Labyrinth of Refrain. Which means there must also be eight antechambers we need to connect. If we conduct the ritual in each antechamber, the witch's crest holding Velkavrana's body together will become unstable. If that happens, the inner ward will fall. And then we can access the chamber that contains its heart. I bet Baba never expected her antechambers would be her undoing. 
Too many have died for us to stop now. Let's go, Tracti. Hmm. 